traitor? Who? Look how oh, calm Jill is. It's ridiculous. Hello everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. In the last part, we got quite a few stuff done. We opened up all the doors with the helmet key. We killed a we killed the big snake boss and um, we also got some new items. We got the emblem key and I think I know where the door is we need to open with this key. We also just got this MO disc um, from this statue that we kind of put gems into and it turned around and gave us that kit, that disc. So we're going to leave this room now and if we go back the way that we came to get here, there are two big swamp monsters in there in the corridor so we're not going to go that way. What we're going to do is we're going to try and go around. I think if we go back towards the hall going through the dining room and cross the um, the hall. We should come close to um, the the room that requires this new key that we got. Hopefully there's not too many zombies and swamp monsters in the way. Because our ammo is actually looking pretty, um, pretty low at the moment. Although we did just get some more shotgun ammo, so maybe Next time we get to a chest, we'll try out the um, the shotgun again. Now, if we head, I'm trying to think which is the best route to take, the the um, the safest route. I think if we go upstairs first and make our way around, then come end up coming back downstairs. That might be a safer route because I'm quite sure there's quite a few zombies in corridors downstairs. So I think if we go through this corridor, go to the end of it through a few doors and come to the stairs, we'll go down the stairs. And then um, hopefully we should be okay. Right. I think there's a dead zombie on the ground here. As long as we don't stand on him. There he is, yeah. As long as we don't stand on him, he won't get up. Which door is it? It's the first door. Right. Oh god. There's a monster up there. Whoa, he's gonna jump around. Nice, look at that dodge. I got skills, bro. Okay, hopefully this doorknob will not be broken now because we've gone through this a few times. The doorknob has been repaired. That's really good. Who's done that? Who the hell fixed that doorknob? <laughs> it wasn't me. Thanks, Barry. I'm guessing that was Barry. Oh, that monster maybe did it. Okay, so we've got something in here as well. Now this door is the next door along, so we're going to have to run towards this monster that's right in front of us. And hopefully not get killed. Okay, we use the emblem key. Look at that monster. He's jumping at me. No favor use for this key. Discard. Um, we'll have to spam X now and try and get in the door before he he hits us. No, I just didn't discard it then. I pressed the... Oh, I was pressing right while spamming X and I pressed the um, no. So we've still got the key, which is silly. Can we actually discard it now if we want to? No, we're going to have to take this to the chest. Okay, that was that was silly. That was me just spamming the wrong button really. It's too dark to see anything, so we could do with turning the lights on. <laughs> oh, come on. How do we get the light on? Is it, there's, a, there's a lamp there. Okay. So we can now see. That's good. And we have a hey, another metal object. So we've got two of these now. So we should be able to put these two on a... Um, let me just check... We've still got something else to pick up here. We should be able to book these two things now. On the door, in the hall, underneath the stairs. And we should be able to go through there. Now, I don't know what's through the door. So, um... Do you know what we need to do? We need to go back the way we just came. Okay, there's still something else to be found here. Looks like there's pistol ammo. On the, on the desk there. Check the phone. Okay, some shotgun shells in there. We're stocking up on shotgun ammo. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back the way we just came. And where that monster was on the stairs, underneath the stairs is an item room. So we're going to go... Um, yeah, we're going to go into the item room. Get the shotgun. Get the second um, piece that matches this one. I think, yeah, obviously put this key away because we don't need it anymore. Maybe put the disc away because I don't know what it's used for. And then we'll make our way to the the, um, the doors underneath the stairs. So, let's do this. Let's be quick, as we don't want to take too much damage. <laughs> diddy diddy diddy. 
Go in there. Okay, this this monster's gonna be in our face. It would surprise me if we took no damage here, because I think he's gonna be right in our face. Alright, let's go on the call. There he is. Hey, I'm surprised. <laughs> Those guys, in a way, they're kind of easy to avoid. They're, they're intimidating because they move fast, jump around, and all sorts. But you can't avoid them if you're quick enough at moving around, you know. So we're gonna put this key in here because we never need this again. Put the disc away for now as well. We don't need anything else, but what we have as well is we've got the battery. And that can be used outside to access one of the lift shafts. And uh, I don't know what's down there because so, we haven't been before. So um, when we're done checking out this... we just combine this quickly. When we're done checking out the door underneath the stairs, we'll um, check out what the battery does. Alright guys, so we're now ready to use the, um, the two emblems that we got. So we got these doors. Let's try and put these emblems in. No, so we can't use this one. That's bullshit. <laughs> They're all like faffing around. We can't even use it. We put this one in first. See, it looks like... See, that's just a metal object. It's not a stone or metal. So we're missing the stone part. That's the border of the, um, the object. So let's take this one out for now. Okay, guys, because we couldn't open the, um, the door underneath the stairs, I think what we're going to do now is we'll go outside this door that we're in and um, where the swamp monster is, we'll go into the chest, we'll get the battery pack, we'll take that outside and hopefully we can go somewhere new with that. Just gotta be careful we don't take damage now from this monster. Right, he's jumped up there, hopefully we can outrun him. Now he's hit us once there. So we're gonna go in the item room. Gonna get the battery pack now. Keep a hold of these other things that we've got. Um, we need to use a stone and metal object to actually get to where we need to go. So, let's go. I wonder where you get the stone part then for that object. So, we need to get past this monster quickly. Don't hit us. Okay. Now, we need to get past the other monster that's out here. And we need to get outside. Just gotta be careful. Don't hit us. Whoa! Okay, that was nice. Let's go outside. Alright. Let me just try and put the metal object in there, see if that works. No, it doesn't work. So let's put the stone and metal one in. That will unlock the door. can't remember if there's any enemies left through here. Hopefully there isn't. Um, trying to think which way is the way we need to go. Okay, I think it might be through the double doors that we need to go. It's been a while since we've been through here. Yeah, I think it is. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Brad was the guy who um, was flying the helicopter at the very start, and we were shouting like, Brad, wait for us, you know, we're still alive, and he just left us. So we got that lift shaft there, and I think if we go through the doors... I'm trying to think where the other one was. Because there was a battery, like, hole in the wall that we could use. I think it might be this one. There was a couple of dogs in here, I think we killed them. So they shouldn't be an issue. Hang on, where are we going? Maybe it is down here, down um, down this, this ladder. Oh, okay, I remember as well there was snakes that were dropping down as we walked through here, and they poison you. There we go. Yeah, we can see the snakes on the ground. We're going to be poisoned. That's great. But it's not great. It's fucking shit, really. Um, I think we've gone the wrong way, to be honest. Actually, yeah, look at that, we can heal ourselves. Okay, we didn't get poisoned. They just attacked us and they didn't actually poison us. They took some damage. Um, 
Actually, wait, this is the right way. I remember now. Here we go. So there's a hole in the wall there. We're going to put the battery in there. Now, is it working? The power to the elevator has been restored. Cool. Going to go somewhere new. Don't know where we're going to end up. Hopefully it doesn't take us to that other shaft that we just come from. Oh my god, it did. Okay, after all that, that was not necessary. <laughs> Shit. So you just get that battery pack to avoid going past all the snakes. Okay, so I've got another idea what we can do. And that is... Going through to the graveyard where the ravens are. I don't even know if it's this way, to be honest. And, um... Let me just see where we are. Let me try and figure out which is the right way to go. Yeah. Okay, so there's a zombie now here in front of us. And this is where the... Ro the are the ravens still there? It looks like they might have moved, actually, the crows. Okay, there's a big, fat zombie there. Let me check out these um, holes. So there's something carved. Two vertical lines cut across and three horizontal lines. Could it be some kind of symbol? Let's try out... No, that's not going to fit in there. Let's try out... Okay. Okay, so what we've got on, our, on us at the moment doesn't fit in there. Now, I think this one had something to s said something about wind. So I'm going to try and put this in there. Okay. Oh, nice. So that's turned around. There's a sun, a star, and a moon. Crests are fitted. Will you take the moon crest? Okay. Crests are fitted. Will you take the star crest? I think we might have to put them on the other side. You know, because they've turned around, haven't they, to give us... Hang on, what order were they in? I think the star one. Shit. <laughs> we took moon first, I think, which is on the right. So moon was on the one that looks like a pause, like two lines down. And stars on plus. So as long as you remember, moon and the two lines down. Star on plus. So we get moon. Oh shit, you can't put it on there. What? The, are you joking me? Okay, let me try and figure this out. Okay, so it's got a pause in um, the two lines on the back of it. There's a button, will you press it? There are two projecting lines. Okay, so maybe now this can fit. If we use it now? Okay. Cool. So it looks like we have to press the buttons on the um, the back of the symbols. Cool. Um, let's do let's do the buttons first, and we'll I'm gonna examine. Hopefully, we can get all this done before the zombie comes and eats us. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's always getting closer and closer each step as we put them in. And now this turns around and we get a magnum. Okie dokie. So we're not actually making progress in the game, we're just getting a new weapon. <laughs> yes, please. Okay, so we've got a magnum. We haven't got any progress to be made. So it looks like we're all done in that little section. Okay, guys, I had to look up how to... Um, get the second part of this uh, metal object to make it into a stone and metal object to put into the door underneath the stairs in the mansion and apparently it's beyond these, this waterfall and at the moment if you look at the waterfall it says a raging waterfall it looks like there's something beyond it but we can't actually get beyond it because um, the water's in the way and Jill doesn't like to get her hair wet so what we're going to do, I think, I think that's related to the dam that we opened before so we're going to head back up to where the dam is and I think if we turn off the dam, or close it, you know, so the water doesn't flow through, maybe that will stop the waterfall. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to try it. Alright, so back here at the dam again. I've just had to go all the way back to the stash to get the crank, because we put it back in the stash. I'm, I'm, please tell me I'm not standing close enough right there. Because if, if this doesn't if this, yeah, excuse me, if this does work, then I'm going to be out of ideas. So we're cranking this. So we're going to put the dam, fill it back up with water, so the waterfall will no longer be um, flushing. 
in the path of where we need to go. The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. Fantastic. Alright, so we're making progress. This is good. This is really, really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back. Uh, the reason why you need to put the battery in the lift um, was because we've we've now filled the water with the dam. And um, the only way to get back to where we need to go, other than going across that water path, which is now we can't, we go through the lift instead. So there is a reason for why we did make this lift work again. I was thinking it was just like something I did that was not even necessary, but it looks like we did actually have to do this. So if we come now towards where the waterfall was, the waterfall has stopped. So let's walk in here. Uh, okay, it's quite deep in here. Let's go down the ladder. Now I'm not too sure how long this video is going to be. Because um, I've done a lot of running around and I've carried on recording, you know. And I don't know how long it's going to be after all the editing. So we've got a door, looks like, in front of us. Let's just check this door out. Okay, so it's looking kind of spooky around here. We're going to go this way first, I think. Okay, so there's quite a few doors and passageways to go around here through the, through the caves. It's not very straightforward on where we need to be. Um, so we've got pistol ammo on the ground there. We've got quite a few slots open, so we'll pick that up. It's always good to find more ammo. Let me just see which paths, what pathways we've got here. We've got one to go over here. What have we got? Yeah, there's elevator's power source. There's a round lid up in it. Yes. Will you take the shaft? Okay. Now if we look inside that. Maybe the shaft that we took out. What is the shaft? I don't even know what that is. It's like a cargo song, but isn't it? If we look at it. Examine it. It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved. It's side. So maybe there's another one we need to find. Do we need to switch places with it? There's something flashing over here. More pistol bullets. Let's check out this door. Cutscene. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Who the hell's Stop. Enrico? Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> is that Barry? Enrico! <laughs> Traitor? Who? Look how, how calm Jill is. It's ridiculous. Traitor? Who? She doesn't like investigate the gunshot or anything. She's just like, huh, he got shot. Must have been in the cave. Whoever did this is definitely a professional. Whoever did it is right behind you. You stupid. Another crank. Do we need another crank? I picked it up anyway. Enrico was dead. What could he have known? I thought I was going to say, what did he... What killed him? <laughs> what, um, the game is not that silly. Although, um... Oh, fuck! Was it you? Did you shoot him? <laughs> Holy... Oh, bad camera angles. Okay. He should be dead. That was some close quarters right there. Frippin' heck. Where's your gun? I know it was you. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to actually end it here. Hopefully we'll find the stone ring um, down here somewhere. We'll sit next to Enrico, get some rest, and see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching. See ya.